time of mixing, we now introduce this concept, time. Previously, we just care about power requirements, and this power depend on laminar flow, turbulent flow. Now we're going to check out about time. The interesting part right here is that we have also a, a dimensionless number analysis, which is awesome. And well, recall that time is measured in seconds, and angular velocity is measured in revolutions per unit time. So the interesting part right here is that if you multiply angular velocity times the time, this is second times one to the second to minus one, you will cancel it and you will get or get a dimensionless number. Whew. Yeah, it's a huge formula. We will try to use this concept of FT, which is time of mixing, or mixing mixing time factor or factor of mixing time, or whatever you want to call it, is just a factor that relates time and gravity, diameter, height, and so on. So we got this formula. It's, it has a lot of uh, chaos, so the, we're going to use exactly the same formula, but have it with more friendly numbers. Second power, square root, and one to the sixth. The interesting part right here is that this ratio is very common to have if you've been checking the videos, you know that this ratio is very common, the ratio between the diameter or impeller's diameter and the tank's diameter. Also the height of the tank versus the tank's diameter is also a very common uh, concept. And this right here guys, please recall, is the Freud's number. So why do Freud's number exist? Because it appears a lot on the experiments, so why not use it right here. And angular velocity, as you can see this is dimensionless, dimensionless and dimensionless number and these guys right here are also, the product is a dimensionless figure. So once you get your product, all this is dimensionless. So normally for Reynolds number higher than 10 to the 5, Frode number is actually very very close to one so you can ignore it and you will get a very easier or easier equation of time but this is only in turbulent cases if you don't have turbulence you cannot do this and oh, why is this once again I wanted to show you this graph once you have turbulence you have constant factor so the Freud's number is no longer a factor so you can go straight forward right here, straight forward right here, find your value, recall that NFT, if you know the angular velocity, you will find out how much time is required. And let me show you, look here, you have the relationship between the impeller diameters and the tank diameters, yes. You have the geometry, also turbine, propellers, helix, and so on. Do you have Reynolds number? No, you don't have it, so the only thing you want to calculate is Reynolds number. Once you calculate Reynolds number, go and find out here, find your mixing time and the mixing factor. You know, of course, if you already know the number here, you should know the angular velocity. So one very important aspect in this course is to learn how to size pipes, how to use and apply fittings and why do we need valves. So you can do this entering right here going to the block number two which is piping fitting some valves you will be able to see common pipes material relative roughness fittings flow rate measurement and essentially some valves that are available in the engineering life and find out your factor time and your factor time is essentially the time needed here's another one only valid for turbines Reynolds number you do it exactly the same, angular velocity, the diameter of the impeller, density and viscosity. Recall that normally viscosity is not a factor and density is not a factor for laminar flow. So this is, once again, very constant. In turbulence is constant. The value, this number right here, in laminar flow is not constant. So, depending, well, they have the notation that I don't like that much, this one right here. But well, you can always relate it to this one right here, depending 
on what you prefer. So once you get that, you got FT, you just need to find if time or factor time. You got diameter, yes, you got tanks diameter, yes, you got gravity, you got height, you got everything. So the only thing you need to find out is this right here. So let's find out. For the specific case of a six plate turbine, you may assume the mixing time factor as 4.3, they tell you. So this is by theory in this case. Of course, you're going to have many tables that relate your FT value. So we got almost everything. Yes, since it is, uh, I'm going to assume this is turbulent, so I can ignore this and I can actually find for FT is 4.3, so this value is 4.3. I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to use this side and this side right here. Since, okay, D, T, H, okay. Many times we can ignore this because the ratio of these two guys is almost near to 1, maximum 1.5, and so on. So to the second power, it doesn't care. And we can relate it right here. For this specific case, for a six-plated turbine, you can say that this is always constant. But actually, this is one type of exercise. I don't want you to memorize it. This is how you are going to work with this exercise. This was only for... So guys, if you want to try another exercise, I would definitely recommend you exercise number uh, three from chapter number 9 uh, from the unit operation of chemical engineering written by McCabe, Smith and Harriet uh, it's about how much time do it takes for different type of impellers such as propeller, turbine and so on and it's nice because you get to use these graphs right here calculate Reynolds number with Reynolds number go back and calculate the time and so on it's definitely worth it if you need more exercise such as this, go and check out part number one, Incompressible Flow, solve problems. I got some problems, I, I haven't included that much because the scope of the course is not into calculation of time, it's more into power. But anyways, I got some exercise right there, go and check them. And yeah, essentially that was section number two. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.